So not too long ago, I did my first review on the Insta360 X3. And that was a first impressions review and I was really impressed. It's actually the first Insta360 camera I ever bought. But today I wanna to talk about three things that I love about the Insta360 X3 and three things that I don't. Let's dive in. Okay, let's talk about the first thing that I love. It's the reframing. It's really easy to get shots and reframe them later. And along with the reframing, you can get some really interesting stuff. So by far, that's the best thing. And it's probably the biggest selling point. All right, the next thing that I really love about the X3 is the stabilization. The stabilization is actually one of the best stabilized systems that I've used so far. And it really gives it a reputation of being a good vlogging camera and kind of an action camera. But we'll get to that in a second. That's actually one of my cons. And by the way, I'm filming this entire thing on the X3, so what you're seeing is the image quality of the X3, and I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 2 from my mic. And finally, the third thing I love about the X3, and there's more, but I'm trying to keep this video short, is the ecosystem and the accessories. It's really easy to get what you need. I got a cage for it. It works with the Rode Wireless Go 2. And you have the selfie stick, underwater accessories. So if you need something, there's probably something already out there and many third-party you know, manufacturers. That has its pros and cons because you can get bad quality stuff. But if you buy from reputable manufacturers, you should be good to go. So accessory-wise, can't complain. Okay, now what are three things that I don't like about the X3? The first one's kind of gonna be a dagger in people's hearts, but it's actually the image quality. The image quality is not that great, if I'm being honest. Oftentimes, I'll pull out my cell phone and I don't know, it's not the best image quality. It's partially due to the small sensor. And I know that there's a one inch model sensor, but I've seen videos of that and it doesn't seem like it's that big of an improvement, but the cost is much more. I actually was considering the Insta360 One version. I loved its modularity and obviously its biggest selling point, which was the one inch sensor. The commercials always made it look very high quality and the image looked fantastic, but of course that's the commercials and I'm sure they were accurate, but when you have a film crew helping you make a commercial, well, your mileage may vary. And there's pros and cons of the one inch model, but overall, I just don't feel like Insta360's image quality is that great. And then when you compare it to like other action cameras, the GoPro, DJI, it seems like the X3 is sitting somewhere in the middle. And it's not the worst image quality, but it's definitely not the best. Now related to image quality, it does not have very good low light image quality. I mean, I'm sorry, it's just true. I would not use this camera in low light or at night and Although you can, it's frustrating. Also, there's no ND filters, so you're kind of at the mercy of the automatic shutter. And I think keeping all that in mind, not having NDs, not having great low light, you're at the mercy of the shutter, even with daylight, it just kind of stacks up. Okay, the next one's due to the selfie stick, which is kind of a pro because you have all these accessories, but if you're planning on buying this camera just to vlog, the selfie stick is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> you can extend it really high and you can get a lot of cool shots and that's part of the ecosystem and the whole reframing, but it can be ridiculous. And then if you really focus on the 360 mode, which also doesn't have the best image quality, then all the accessories you bought for it, like the Rode Wireless Go 2, all that stuff in 360 mode shows. So I guess my second con would be the most marketed thing, which is the 360, and the selfie stick has some big limitations. 
Okay, and the last thing that I have is it's not that durable. The lens scratches really easily. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier that I said I would get to. So let's get to it. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's sort of an action cam, but the lenses scratch really easily. And even if you take care of the lenses, you have to make sure you wipe them down because that degrades the image. And then this thing's being marketed as being waterproof and having the ability to submerge it, but without a underwater case, it's really finicky, the stitching's bad, it moves all over the place in 360 mode. So yeah, out of the box, it's not that durable. The cage I have on it isn't a protective cage, it's more for the accessories. So overall, I just feel like I'm babying it and I really don't know what it's trying to be. On one hand, you can use it to vlog. On the other hand, you can use it as an action camera. And I'm not saying you can't, a lot of people do, and that's fine. I'm just saying, if you want an action camera, there's better options. And if you want to vlog with it, there's better options. So it's sort of a jack of all trades, masters of none. And then going back to the lens real quick, even if you protect the lens and put a cover on it and make sure you don't scratch it, you have to make sure it's super clean because any dust, any water, moisture, anything like that, You'll notice it in the image quality, you'll notice it in the 360 mode, and you'll definitely notice it in the stitching. Speaking of low light performance, the sun's going down right now and we're gonna get a really cool sunset. But yeah, this is basically the low light. I wouldn't go past this though. If it gets too dark, the image is just gonna be unusable. So I don't know, it's kind of a good video because I'm showing you guys how the image quality is and giving you guys perspective as the sun is setting. Okay, so I don't want people to get offended. I'm not attacking the Insta360 X3. I still think it's a great camera and I do not regret my purchase at all. I just wanna be honest. I just wanna really give you guys some perspective and give you an idea what you're buying into so you can make an informed decision. If you like the Insta360, if it's working for you, if you think it's a great vlogging camera, a great companion camera, and I still stand by that. I think it's a great companion camera and a travel camera and that's primarily how I'm gonna use it, then great. And if it's working for you, as far as an action camera, I know a lot of people like attaching it to the motorcycles or the car and doing things like that. And I've seen some very interesting perspective on social media where people get some really interesting, cool shots that you can only get with this camera. So it has a lot going for it, but just wanna make sure that you know what you're getting into. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. And Halloween's coming, so we have our scary, scary decorations up. We do this every year. Halloween's one of my favorite holidays, so most of them are not on right now, but as we get closer to Halloween, these bad boys will be scaring little kids <laughs> as they ask for candy.